It's the hero's arc. And this is the thing. This is why what I was saying when people say, you don't know you don't know how it feels to be depressed. I say, yes, I do. The difference is how it's analyzed. I always argue this two ways as well when depressed people come to me, because one of my most famous things people attack me for is their little quote is they say, you said depression isn't real. What about the man who kills themselves? You don't care about men's mental health. We've already discussed how I care more about men's mental health than these people who fucking pretend they do. It's the first thing. Say, I didn't say depression isn't real. I said, feeling depressed is real. But the idea that depression is going to strike you in your mind and there's nothing you can do about it, I think that is promoting helplessness amongst depressed people. And that's the reason they kill themselves. I don't think that making people helpless in an unfortunate Ooh. situation is the great thing to do. You have to give people hope. And I explained that when you believe in something, you give it power. So I tried to say that when I felt at my lowest and I achieved the most I've ever achieved in my life, the reason I was capable of doing that is because I didn't believe in the paradigm of being a depressed person. I just believe that this is how I currently feel and fuck it, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get my life to be better. And I gave a very simple example, an analogy. I said, if you take two people, one believes in ghosts and one doesn't, and you put them both in haunted houses, and in the middle of the night, there's a bang. <laughs> the person who believes in ghosts is now terrified. There's a ghost, they're calling an exorcist, they're panicking in the room, they're hiding. The person who doesn't believe in ghosts goes wind and goes back to sleep. It's the same noise, it's the same scenario. But it's the belief That's both. in their mind yeah. that terror and ruins their life. Yeah. It's the belief in their mind yeah. that turns against them. And I've said this many times. I don't even give a shit about right and wrong. You can tell me depression's, you can give it to me with every scientific proof in the world, depression, but I refuse to believe in things that take my power away from me. I only, I'm only gonna construct a mental model that allows me to be as powerful as possible. If believing in the idea of depression is gonna take my own power away, then I won't believe in it. I don't want to believe in things that make me weak. I believe in things that make me strong. And someone goes, well, you're wrong. Listen, let's assume, let's assume you're correct and that makes me wrong. Let's say that you're right and you're depressed. Why would I want to adopt the thinking of a man who is sad? Why would I want to think like you? Wouldn't it better to be wrong and be happy and have a sports car and a yacht and a, and a private jet? You want to talk about right? Look at your life. Why, I, don't talk about right and wrong. Let's talk about success and results. Yeah. I don't believe in things that take power. From me. I never have. So when people email me and they just say, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. And what's funny is this, I talk to them and they desperately defend the idea of depression. I'm like, my friend, you just told me you're too depressed to be successful and depression has destroyed your life and you lost your girl. I'm telling you that enemy, the enemy in your life isn't real. And you're now sending me 10 emails a week trying to convince me that your enemy is a real thing. Why are you sticking up for your enemy? This person, whatever it is, this idea destroyed you and you're putting your energy into defending it. You should be on my team. Whose team are you on here? You want to sit here and convince me? I'm never going to believe you. I'm never going to adopt your thinking because your life is not yeah. successful enough for me to emulate. So why don't you try to adopt my way of thinking? Stop defending this. And they're defending it because it's a cure all excuse. Depression or sadness is a cure-all excuse for men to use for failure. I have failed. This is why they say I don't believe in men's mental health, or the man, the man who's depressed can't compete with the man who's not depressed. This, this quote. I say, listen, you get to roll out, be fat, be out of shape, be broke, be unimportant with no girlfriend. And instead of the world thinking you're a loser, you get to say, I'm not a loser, I'm depressed. It's a shield. Yeah. And I say, that's why you don't want to lose your shield. Because now you have accountability, now you have performance to cop out. Fuck it off. I don't give a shit if it's real or not. We're not about that, we're talking about success here. Get rid of your excuses, stop defending the thing that's ruined your life, and get to fucking work. And every time anyone has ever listened to me in history, ever, every single one of them's transformed their lives and messaged me positive messages afterwards. Every single fucking time. That's why I'm anti-antidepressant. I'm anti because that pill ain't gonna fix you the way becoming the man you wish you were is gonna fix you. It, it's it's crazy. And then they're gonna take one little sound bite. Tate doesn't care about men's mental health. He thinks depressed people is or that it's some bullshit. And they're gonna apply it to me. We don't believe in negativity because if it's infectious and it's sticky. And even if someone's negative, even if you talk them out of it, it still stains the air, right? If you're in a trench and you're under fire, the least productive person is the person who goes, they've got too much artillery, we're gonna die. Shut the fuck up. We all know. Shut up. That's not helping us, right? It's very infectious. So, and most people understand, they say, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Then why the fuck are you spending time with negative people? Or people who complain? Or unhappy people? Or unlucky people? Or negative people? Stop talking to them. Everyone I talk to is like, yep, 
We are winners. All we do is fucking win. Oh, the Matrix attacks us. Oh, you think I need YouTube? <laughs> you think I need YouTube? Get fucked. That's who we are, right? If you're weak near me, if you're weak near me, you make me weak. I refuse to accept it. You can't just see people near me being all Bleh, or crying or sad or whatever. You're allowed to feel sad. Of course, your girl left you, you lost your job, you're allowed to feel sad, that's fine. You feel sad, you feel sad right now? Good, great, sit the boots. Shut the fuck up. Me and my brother have another quote. What do you want, therapy? That's our quote, we say it all the time for you. Bro, I got a hangover, you want therapy? No, well then what the fuck, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like, what are you, why are you even saying it out loud? Why are you believing in it? Yeah. Why are you making it real? We all feel like trash. We drunk two, 10 bottles of whiskey. We all feel like trash, but we're about, we're, we're high net worth individuals getting out of Ferraris in a, in a country we don't have security. Nobody's walking fucking like we do. It's, it's, a, it's a reality you have to cur curate. And, and, and when you get your shit straight, it affects your entire life. And, I, and, and men understand this. They say, I understand you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Then why are you friends with all these fucking nobodies? Why are you friends with these losers? Why are you doing it then? You're, then you're accepting what you're gonna be. I love winners. I love winners. Show me a winner. I love winners all day long, my friend. That's who I wanna be friends with, winners. That, that, that's who I wanna be friends with. I don't wanna be friends with anybody else. I don't see the advantage to it. And that's how I've always created my life and it's served me very, very well. And, and I refuse to accept anything else because negative energy is extremely sticky. If you have friends who are talking negative shit, try and, try and, try and fix them, it's your duty. But if they're sticking to their negative narrative, you don't have a responsibility to them to a degree to sit there and allow them to pollute your life. Because that's what they're gonna do. Let's say when I had nothing, I had 10 friends. Now I'm at the top, I have four. The six I had to drop just didn't level up with me. And there's only so long you can pay for them to go to the club, pay for them to go on holiday, lend them a car. There's only so long until it's like, bro, everyone else pulled this off. Everyone else, and, and I've offered you a job and now you're sick or you're tired. It gets to a point where it's just detrimental to your life and you have to be ruthless about it because you have to create your reality. It's the only way to do it.